All right, today is all about V's. This patient is a V shape and she was on the internet looking for V's. She couldn't find a lot, uh, but she was appreciative of what we had up on YouTube for V shape. So V's are wider on top, they narrow in. We're gonna do our usual 360 fat transfer arms, axilla, uh, but I wanna really focus on the shape, the starting shape and final shape. All right, we're gonna be doing arm, axilla, 360, V shape, so today let's focus on shapes. V shape, we're gonna go from a V to an hourglass. All right, 360, remember our theme is V, 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 V shape. So V shape means you're wider here and you narrow it. I'm gonna give you some characteristics of V shapes, we're gonna list them. Number one, wider on top, they narrow in on the thigh. Number two, the skin on the thigh over here is tight and expansion is difficult. Number three, the buttock muscle, the gluteus, tends to be narrow. Okay, number four, the buttock tends to be short. So those are both skeletal differences, bony differences, muscular differences, and differences in skin, as well as fat distributions. Remember, all these factors play a role in the final result. V-shape, we talked about the other things that were important. Here's the after. All the lipo's been done, very thin pinch, super thin, buttock, thigh expansion. All right, amazing result. Really doesn't get better than this. Beautiful silhouette, super thin pinch. That's it, that's as good as it gets. All right, so the theme was V. We went from a V to an hourglass, we showed you everything. I think if, when you're at home and you're thinking about what kind of result you're gonna get, it's not just about your bony shape, right? It's about the bone, the muscle, the skin, and the fat. And all those factors determine what kind of result we can get. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.